So I've brought you around the green today because many of my students are coming to me as the ground conditions have got a bit soft. When they start to strike the ground a little bit behind the golf ball, they're now duffing the shot, leaving it in front of their nose. Or worse still, once they start doing that, they get a bit scared and then start to kind of lift up and start thinning the ball over the back of the greens. It's really um, damaging their confidence and obviously their consistency. So what I started to give them is something to do just for a few seconds before every single chip shot. That really increases the likelihood of getting consistent strike each and every single time. So today what I want to do is I want to share with you what that is because I know it's going to help. It's all about improving your contact and your distance control all rolled into one. Now before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, for your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this one every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing, I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. So let's start here. So just like your full swing, the golf swing swings on a circle, just like this, okay, backwards and forwards. And at some point, the club gets to its lowest point in that circle, the low point, all right? Now, I want you to make sure that your low point is just after the golf ball, so that when you're striking your chip shots, you have a descending blow look on that golf ball like this, okay? Very, very important. Now, if you're fatting the ball, okay, just as an example, your low point is likely to be behind the golf ball, Okay, that's one option that you could be fatting it with, where you're, you know, you're hitting the ground too far behind. Or two, what you're doing is, is your depth control, you're lowering the club too much deep under the ground here, and that's causing a fat, okay? If you're thinning it over the back of the green, if your low point drifts back, look, you start hitting up on the ball, look, we hit the top of the ball. Again, the other thing you could, which could cause a top or a thin, is if you are controlling the depth. So literally, look, you're moving up and down like this, okay? If you do that, you could have a great low point, but now suddenly you're hitting the top of the golf because your circle's up here somewhere, okay? So what I'm going to show you now is what I've been giving my students just before each and every single shot, just for a few seconds to really help guarantee much, much more solid contact. So here you can see I've got a fairly awkward little chip. I've got to kind of chip it up a little bit, and then it's all the way downhill to the flag, okay? Now, have a look at this motion for a second here. Notice as I swing the club back, and through, I'm creating like a mini arc, okay? Almost like a, the start of a mini circle. And there's gonna be a low point to that circle. I want that low point to be ahead of the golf ball here. So I want you to be catching this ball as the club is descending on the golf ball. I want to hit it slightly down the golf ball here. Now, to make that happen, okay, this is what I want you to do every single time you stand over a chip shot. Get yourself set here and I'd love you here to make sure that you level off your shoulders, okay? Most of the people I'm seeing who are chipping terribly have what we call a lot of trail side bend here. Now, when you do that, what's that gonna do to your angle of attack? You are gonna start hitting up on the ball, not down on it, okay? The other thing, if you start uh, leaning back here, you start to send the low point and the arc back behind the ball, you could also start hitting it thin thin, fat, you name it, okay? So we need to get those shoulders level. The simplest way I know to do this is get yourself set, put your lead hand below your top hand here, this immediate levels off your shoulders, keep them there, and then simply just swap them around, okay? Simple as that. Now, I get my heels fairly close together here. I've got my weight maybe 60% on my lead foot, okay? But this is a crucial bit. I'm keeping those shoulders level. Now, what would help us hit slightly down on this golf ball? A massively forward ball position or a massively back? The further the ball is back in your stance, the more you're likely to strike down on the golf ball. Where should you position your golf ball? I don't have any hard and fast rules as to where you should hit it, but you need to know that if you move the ball further back in your stance, you're more likely to strike down on the golf ball. If that's what you're struggling with, then move it slightly back in your stance. Okay, so ultimately that is set up, okay? Keeping it really, really, really simple. You notice my handle here is just opposite my lead thigh. The next thing is, this is very, very important. I am not visualizing on a, a chip shot which is really well struck. This really high shot, a lot of people are doing that. They're visualizing too high a shot and they're starting to lean back and trying to create it. I'm not gonna create a hugely high shot. In fact, actually, when I play a fairly low shot, as long as I, I've got the, I, I strike it, I'm gonna get spin with that shot, okay? 
Now I'm using a 60 degree wedge here, okay? It's the most lofty club I've got in the bag, but it's not gonna go super, super high. Now I'm using a 60 degree wedge because it's all the way downhill. I don't want any real, as, much, as little forward momentum as I possibly can. Now, we said, we've now set ourselves up. How do we now, okay, maintain that? So we've got a beautiful angle of attack going downwards. This is really, really important. Make sure your lead side stays intact. Imagine there's a wall here and almost like you're leaning into this wall here just for a second, okay? Now, this is my lead shoulder dipping down, dipping down. Now, as I swing there, look, you'll notice almost my, my knee going forward, my left shoulder here, my lead shoulder is almost going downwards here and I'm kind of moving this way. I might even be moving slightly towards the target here. Why? Because if I'm moving towards the target, I'm in a place where I can now look where? come down on that golf ball. Too many players, when they're chipping here, are moving this lead shoulder across, they're moving off the golf ball here, that sends the club around. How do we get an angle of attack going down? We can't, we now start hitting the ground behind the golf ball here, or starting to reach for it, the knees start to go, okay? So I want a slightly descending blow look on this golf ball, and by me maintaining this lead side completely intact here, so I'm leaning forward, this is gonna super, super help. So before we go on the next stage, let's just start by hitting a shot from there. So all I've done, I've got myself set up here, ball position is middle to back, and all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically keep this lead side intact, okay, all the way through the swing. I don't want any form of trail side bend here, okay, in this shot. I'm gonna imagine that lead side, if anything, look at this, if I almost, put, you can almost picture like, um, you're heading almost like a, a window, and I'm actually gonna move out of the window here, maintaining that kind of, kind of lead side and that downward angle of attack. Okay, simple as that. Great solid contact, okay, perfectly online. So this is what I want you to do before every single chip shot. Get into a routine, right? Notice, right, just visualize, okay, I'm coming Striking the ball, then the ground. So where does that ball need to be? Where does my body need to be? Look at this. And my body, look, is on the lead side. I'm not going, I'm not behind the ball. And look, if you check out a video that I had with Pete Cowan, you know, he's, in fact, listen to this. He was constantly saying, Danny, stop backing up. This is one of my personal problems, right? I'd get through the shot and I would back up as opposed to keep forward, you know, look after the integrity of this lead side, okay? So, hands forward, level off those shoulders here, look after the integrity of the lead side, and then there's one final thing I need to show you in a second, which is really, really important. So look after the integrity here. Beautiful crisp shot. Now you could do all of these things and still hit a dodgy shot because of just one final ingredient, which is ultimately this. You've now controlled where the club is coming down. You're striking down on the golf ball. The club's actually, get, you're giving yourself the best chance to strike down on the golf ball, okay? Low point slightly ahead of the golf ball, but you're missing one ingredient, which is radius control. If your circle, okay, is going deeper, so let's imagine you start to drop in height. As you're coming down now and you drop in height, you're gonna catch the ground way before and it's gonna be fat, okay? Because you've done that a few times and I completely get this, you start to get a bit nervous, so then suddenly you become afraid of the ground, you start to lift up a little bit. Again, your radius is, is kind of not controlled, okay? So then you start topping it and thinning it. So what I want you to do is, is come up with a way that is gonna help control that radius. Now, what I like to say is this, allow your arms just to kind of extend out in front of you here, yeah? And then what we're gonna do is I want you to maintain that through the entire swing. So just see my arms here, I'm not kind of pushing them completely stiff here, they're just set here. I'm not gonna let that radius pull up, okay? And the other thing here is this, a lot of people, when they're swinging, they might have excessive wrist hinge. Now, I'm happy for you to do that, but you've got to remember, look, if I, from here, if I look at my wrist here, if I set my wrist here, and I bend them a lot, if I move back to the golf ball now, where's the club? It's way above the ball. Now, because of that, I am gonna to have to now get that club back down to the golf ball, and I see this a lot, people then start dipping. Yeah, so if you are a wrist hinger, not a problem, you just gotta remember you, you've gotta time that motion to let those wrists look, come out in the right time. There's plenty of great chippers that do that. There are also great chippers that 
set the wrist at the start of the swing, they maintain it on the way back, that helps to control the radius, and they keep it that simple that they just swing through, okay? So you decide what you prefer to do. I don't have a preference. People love both. The people who have the wrist, they like the rhythm that this creates, okay? Now, the other final thing here as, we, as we're going through this is unlike a proper full swing where ultimately we have leg drive, uh, uh, torso, arms, and then flash, when you're chipping, what helps to really control this radius is focusing on the whole body as we're coming through, look, as we're coming down, look, the tummy, the arms, and the club are working through, look, together. It's beautifully smooth. Just imagine the whole thing. Not look, legs, arms, flash. We are controlling the whole thing together. One, two, everything working together. It's gonna to help keep the integrity of this lead side. And also look, the radius of your swing. If you do that, you'd be more consistent. Okay. Simple as that. Now, one more thing. Come and have a look at this. Let's move to a slightly trickier position here where we've got a little bit of a bunker to kind of go over. And every time somebody feels like they've got to get a bit more height, now I'm using 60 degree wedge to all these shots at the moment. Every time someone wants to go high, what do you think they come, come around this side, have a look, look, look at this. What they tend to do is they start to immediately go into this kind of motion here. So regardless of what I'm going to go over, I still want my, from this position here, I still want my shoulders level. I still want to get that kind of slightly descending blow. I want to secure contact. If I start to kind of lean back here, I don't want to catch the ground way behind the golf ball and thin it, okay? So I'm going to set up exactly as I've done here. It's a slightly longer shot, so I'm going to slightly wider stance because I'm going to sli need a slightly longer swing. But ultimately, look, Left hand below right, that's what we do for a few seconds. Level off those shoulders, and then the same principle here, look. Feel that the whole, the whole swing look, the whole body. Everything look is being timed and going through together. Okay, let's have a look at this in action. Clean the club off, very, very important. Okay, backwards and forwards. Beautiful crisp shot, down the slope. Okay, a little bit run on that one there, so let's see if I could just pop this one up a little bit shorter. Okay, one more time here. So I struck that really well, just hit it a little bit too hard. It's all downhill from here, so it's quite tricky, difficult to stop it. I'm actually gonna open the club face up a little bit more here to give myself a little bit more loft and a little bit more stopping power. But same principle, we're still gonna work down on that shot. And hey Presta, we've now got one look beautifully next to the flag. So no matter what you're doing, we don't lean back, we keep level here, look, on that shot there. Get that downward angle of attack, even if you need loft, don't be fearful, and it's gonna super, super help. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends who you know is struggling with their chipping. Go and do that for us. And of course, look, if you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button and the bell so you don't have to miss any videos just like this one. I put a free download practice guide in the description box below, but until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.